Well, hello again from Kingston. It's been a relatively busy first week of 2022, and I'd like to tell you all about it. So please watch to the end for the main event, and there will be wildlife. If you like these updates, please consider subscribing. It really helps. This week's title gives you a good idea what the main event was, but we're going to start with a look at both ends of the crossing as we begin January 2022. On the west end, beyond the green wall, the bridge buggy was in place on span one, and you could see that preparations were being made to pour the dividing wall between lanes. Overall, the West End was looking pretty good. On Tuesday, the team on the West End could be seen outside the bridge using the buggy to remove the wooden guardrail on span one. The work continued on Wednesday, requiring a movement of the Miller Edge safety device to a position slightly further along. By early Thursday morning, working sometimes in bitterly cold temperatures, you could see very clearly how much the team had achieved. That new fence looks really good. The more observant of you will have noticed that the river is now frozen, and that means that the safety boats are laid up on the west shore for the foreseeable future. Cold and foggy conditions on Thursday proved to be no deterrent to the crew from CBM and the workers on the bridge who poured another section of the dividing wall. Note the use of a vibrating rod to remove air from the concrete. Finally on the West End, we said goodbye on Friday to the extreme forklift, which has been an incredible workhorse on site. The start of the new working year on the east end was met with snow. But that did nothing to daunt spirits or stop work. Visits to the east abutment by a surveyor's van and other vehicles signalled developments to come. In midweek, gravel was delivered, which was then used to level the remaining areas around the fence line on Gore Road. On Thursday, speculation about work on the east abutment came to an end when the iron workers of ABF took up residence. Despite cold winds and low temperatures, they worked steadily through 48 hours, but as you can see, there's still a fair amount of reinforcing rod remaining. Turning our attention to the steel span of the main bridge, an early order of business was to remove the tarpaulins that have protected the steel from snow over the break. That allows us to see what a considerable challenge is faced by the iron workers of ABF, but they are more than up to the task they invariably work steadily and very well. This was the situation looking west as we finished the week on Friday. On Wednesday, workers from Linkline Fence, a local company, arrived back on Gore Road and promptly got down to the work of embedding the studs will hold the uprights for the fence that neighbours Kenwood Circle. Each stud is fixed in place with an epoxy specifically designed to cure quickly and to hold metal into concrete. On Thursday, a cold and windy day with flurries of snow, they began to fix the nuts on the studs, whilst a surveyor from Kiwit confirmed locations. That very afternoon, 
with the snow flurries continuing, the upright posts for the fence arrived and were offloaded. And all the while, fasteners were being placed. No time was lost in beginning the installation of uprights the same day. And it continued steadily to completion. Next morning, the work of levelling the uprights began, using the two nuts below and the one above each pedestal. With the result being a very good looking fence line as we went into the weekend. So all the major players are back on the field. Before we go to wildlife, I'll leave you with a look at the steel span and ask you please to consider subscribing to the channel. It really is encouraging when you do.